Hi, and welcome to the Young Storytellers Club. My name is Elise, and I can't wait to meet you all. I myself am not from here. I was born in the Netherlands. Have you heard of that country? It's all the way in Europe, and it takes about nine hours by plane to get from there to here. I moved to Madison five years ago to study at the university here. Hi, my name is Madeline, and I'm so excited to work with all of you throughout this semester. I'm currently in my second year of college at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and when I grow up, I wanna be a nurse. I come from up in Northern Wisconsin in the Northwoods, and I love to run and go water skiing throughout the summer up north. Hello everyone, my name is Randy Mervin, and I am attending UW-Madison. I am from California, and I'm very lucky to be spending this year with you all. I really like ice cream, exercising, and arts and crafts. I am so excited to get you know you all on a more personal level. Hey everyone, I'm Cleo, like Cleopatra, and I'm glad that you are all here virtually with us. Um, I'm in my third year at UW-Madison, so grade 15, <laughs> um, and I want to be a community organizer. So basically, I want there to be programs like this for the rest of eternity. Um, and what is this program? From what I understand, the BASIS program, which we are all a part of, is meant to support kids like you and make sure you are having the best time possible in school. This becomes even more important when we can't exactly go to school. So we wanna make sure that you are all still having as much fun and social interaction as possible from where you are. Um, personally, I joined the BASIS program because when I was younger, I wasn't able to focus on school and instead had to focus on family and my home life. So there was a lot of things that I was not able to do in school or just missed out on. Um, I'm hoping that by being a mentor for you all, I can make this a time when you have a space where we can just all come up, come together, and imagine ideas. I am doing the BASIS program because I was a former foster child. I truly understand what it means to go without and to not know where food or housing is going to come from for the next day. With that being said, I want to be that avenue of support for you all and someone to encourage you. My goal for you all is to think positive and remain encouraged even when things can seem a little overwhelming or difficult. As for me, I love any types of stories, reading them, writing them, listening to them. When I was a kid, I was bullied in school. And if life was hard, I would often just curl up with a book and forget about the world around me and my own problems for a while. I would imagine being a wizard like Harry Potter or walking around the chocolate factory with Willy Wonka. I love being a scientist right now, but it can also be a bit boring to just be around adults all day long. They're not as creative as most kids. That's why I'm so happy to be a basis mentor. I think we'll have a lot of fun together. So I chose, I've been looking forward to being a part of the basis program ever since last winter when one of my best friends told me about the program. She absolutely loved getting to know students just like all of you, and she made so many memories with all of the kids that she worked with. So although our basis, basis experience may look a little different this year, I encourage each of you to embrace the, the experience and hopefully we'll learn something new while creating our stories. So we formed the Young Storyteller Group because we know how important and freeing it is to use your imagination and creativity to develop stories of your own. No matter how difficult of a situation you're in or how stressful your life may be at the moment, you have the ability to create a world with whatever you desire. Mermaids, superheroes, your favorite athlete, or even a family member that you really miss. The list just goes on and on and on. Um, with this club, we hope to think up fun situations that would happen in our day-to-day -day lives. We may not be able to meet in person and we may not be able to go many places, but our mind is just something no one else can take away. Our limit is our own imagination. I love stories because they're always available. I just have to close my eyes and start my imagination. I hope to encourage you all to dream big. 
Because even though magic isn't real, I don't think I would have ever been brave enough to move to a different country if I didn't have a big imagination. We formed this group to encourage you all to think bigger and also for you to take away that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Our plan for the semester is to all create a story together and to give you practice with storytelling. In order to do that, we came up with a world. In this world, each of you are going to be able to make a character you want to play in the story. The character can be a lot like you. They can look like you and talk like you, or they can be totally different. And here's the fun part. Your character gets to have a special power. So you get to choose one superpower, one ability, one thing that your character can do that's beyond what any normal kid or even any adult can do. So maybe your char character could fly, or maybe they could talk with animals, or maybe they could even become invisible. And we will talk more about this next week. We'll set up some guidelines to help you all design your character. After we all have our characters, we are going to write adventurous stories together. For the first couple of weeks, the four of us are going to have some unique problems for your characters to solve. Our first adventure is going to take place at the Henry Vilas Zoo, which is a free zoo right here in Madison, Wisconsin. Have you guys ever been there? We don't want to give away the story yet, but it's going to be so much fun. And once you've practiced with solving situations that we came up with, you get to also come up with situations for other characters to solve. So by the time it's Christmas or winter break, you all will have practiced with three different parts of storytelling. Creating a character, imagining a situation the character is in, and working out how they're going to solve the situation. And guess what? You get to tell the stories whichever way you prefer. So maybe you want to write the stories, or maybe you prefer drawing them. Or what about performing them and acting them out? Before we begin working on our characters next week, we want to learn more about each of you. The more we know about who you are, the easier it will be to get the Young Storyteller group kicked off. Let's start by having the adult you're with record a video of you answering some questions for us. We can't wait to see your smiling faces and learn more about what e makes each of you special. First, we want to know your name. Also, do you have any nicknames? Which name would you like us to call you? How old are you? What grade are you in? Once we know the basics about what's, what makes you who you are, Let's get to know a little bit more. Think about your favorite classes, hobbies, and games. Do you have any special talents? Maybe you love art class and are able to draw realistic pictures. Or maybe you enjoy English class and are able to write detailed stories. Or maybe your talents have nothing to do with storytelling and writing, but you're a great soccer player or gymnast. Who knows? But no matter what your talents are, each of you will bring something unique and special to the group. Let's go over the questions again so we don't miss anything. What is your name? How old are you? What grade are you in? And what are some of your special talents? Awesome. Now, upload your video with your response to Google Classroom. We cannot wait to learn more about each of you. That's it from us this week. Remember, if you want to join this club, upload a video in which you introduce yourself. And we look forward to seeing you next week when we will talk about making characters. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone.